The Allied Democratic Forces Rebel Group, ADF, is known for causing insecurity in Uganda, especially in the western parts of the East African country. In a space of 29 years, the group has claimed the lives of several people and destroyed properties, resulting in both internal and external displacements. Despite the counter-reactions from the Uganda People's Defense Forces through the sewage operations, the group remains a great threat to the country. Addressing the media in Kampala, the Army Deputy Spokesperson, Colonel Dea Kik confirmed another ADF rebel group to have entered the country under the command of Ahmed Muhammad Hassan, also known as Abu Wakas. According to Dea Kiki, the other commanders of this notorious group include Muhammad Isa, Amigo Chivirige, Muhammad Lumisa, and Nasa Hamid Diro. Another group has infiltrated the country with the same mission. This group is suspected to be under the command of a notorious ADF commander, Ahmad Muhammad Hassan, a.k.a. Abu Wakas. This man is a Tanzanian-born ADF expert, uh, ADF expert and he, along with him, has hatched a plan with Muhammad Issa. This is Muhammad Issa. Among the commanders who have recently planned to, uh, to infiltrate and do acts of terrorism in the area. Dea Kik says that the army, together with other sister security agencies, are doing all possible means to hunt these insurgencies and protect Uganda's sovereignty. Other sister security agencies have been informed, are on alert, and we will continue working together to protect Ugandans as we have always done. It is simply suicidal for these terrorists to continue making terrorism adventures into the country, and the UPDF and the entire sister forces. Together with the people, we shall do all possible to annihilate this group. The deadly attacks on civilians create panic among the general public. However, the army spokesperson calls for vigilance among the populace by identifying and reporting any suspicious individuals. The public is therefore informed that ADF still harbors the intention of sending terror groups in Uganda, especially urban areas. Also, they plan to send these cells into places of worship, schools, and public gatherings to cause mayhem as they attempted to do last time. We call upon the citizens to be vigilant, identify and report any suspicious individuals or packages to avoid being victims of ADF terror as we catch up with this current group. He also speaks about the ongoing community empowerment programs across the borders of Uganda and the neighboring countries. These are aimed at encouraging individuals to collaborate with the security in the fight against the ADF rebels. It is a sort of border protection campaign to ensure that the people alongside our borders are more vigilant than ever before to make sure that they inform the, pub, the, the security forces about any suspicion of both humans and uh, packages to make sure that they keep, they keep safe. Uh, the people along the border should not leave security into the hands of the, of the security forces only. In October 2023, 10 groups of ADF are reported to have infiltrated into the country through Kasese district, causing mayhem including the killings at Rubiriha Secondary School and burning of two wives in the Queen Elizabeth National Park. These were commanded by Kamusa Ninjovo. John Baptista Humuza, Church of Uganda, Family TV News at 8.